hey guys, science should be fun. And sometimes in school, we are so busy teaching you the equations, teaching you the maths, teaching you um, example answers, teaching how to pass exams, that is not always fun. So today I have something that is just pure fun for you. Stuff that you can do at home, um, stuff that you can do after the exam, stuff that is literally just fun and exciting and hands on and experiences that you don't necessarily get at school for various various reasons. I have a chemistry kit for you. I'm so excited about this, it's ridiculous. Um, because even though I have all of this stuff at school, now that I have it at home, I'm like, oh my god, this is so exciting, yay! Um, yeah, I have a chemistry kit for you. And it's not like a little kid's chemistry kit, it's like a big kid's chemistry kit because I am a big kid. Um, you give me loads of chemicals and I'm going, I wonder what would happen if we just put that one in there and that, ooh, look at that. Um, so, Mel Science have sent me a chemistry kit, they're not paying me for this, they've, they've just sent it to me. So, they sent me the starter kits, which is these big boxes here. We'll have a look at what's in the inside in a second because I've had a quick look, it does look really good. And two experiments to do. Um, so that one and that one. Um, this should be good. So I've opened the boring looking box first and the stuff that's in here is not boring at all. So we have one molar ammonia solution, two molar hydrochloric acid, one molar hydrogen peroxide, that's fine, and then two molar sodium hydroxide. This is the sort of stuff that I get nervous about giving the year sevens because they might actually hurt themselves, but you get nice little actual chemicals in here that, you know, we don't generally let you have two molar sodium hydroxide in school because it makes me nervous, but it's in the chemistry kit. Okay, onto the bigger box now. Loads of little plastic cups for measuring stuff out, and look, actual beakers. Now I know I have loads of beakers at school, but I don't have any at home. And now I have actual beakers at home. This is really cool. I'm really excited about having like my own actual beakers. Because I'm a science geek, okay? You just have to forgive me for the fact that I'm excited about having actual beakers. Goggles. And look, you can actually see through them. I know. Every single time I tell you to put goggles on, they're kind of like, miss, I can't see through the goggles. These ones, look. I might take these into school and keep them as my school pair. You can actually see through them, and there are two sets of goggles, and you can see through both of them. Tongues, conical flask, and a little funnel. Again, really excited to have my own conical flask because I don't have one of my own. Now I do. Some big syringes. This is a uh, magnifying glass for my iPhone. Awesome. This is a little stove. Comes in little parts, folds away so that you can like, you know, set things on fire. Okay, so that is everything that comes in the first kit that they send you. All in there looking nice and neat. Um, now I'm gonna have a go at the experiments. We are starting off with the tin chemistry one. You see the pretty box, the, the iPhone stand with the app open so you can see what to do. Um, here is the box with our nice little instructions and all the bits you get inside. We have little packets, um, so that's everything you need for one experiment. Paper clips already opened up for you, so you can open up the bottles. Little power pack, um, little petri disc for you to do the experiments in, and gloves in small and large. Tin dendrites, pop my nice instructions there. We have tin chloride, we have sodium hydrogen sulfate, and we have a liquid soap. So lid comes off the tin chloride and then we can throw away the blue cap because uh, green cap because we don't need that anymore. Lid comes off 
the sodium hydrogen sulfate all of that goes in there and we don't need that bottle anymore and we need to put the red lid on the green bottle and shake now all of this is in here with two drops of soap oops one two swirl it around a little bit And then I have my power pack with my red and black cables. Pop those on there. Either side of the Petri dish. Get that deep down into the liquid. And we will watch what happens. Hey, no. sugar snake for this we have hexamethylene triamine which is our solid fuel and we have sodium hydrogen carbonate which is baking soda you need some sugar have a little mold pop that on there and the solid fuel all goes in there and then we use this little doodad to make a mold Push that down, tap, lift, then I'm going to take this bit off as well, ta-da, right, now we have our sodium hydrogen carbonate, lid off that, our little measuring cylinder, and it wants two scoops of sugar. Funnel off, lid back on, shake. This now gets poured into our little mould of fuel. And we need to it. of monsters now which has a danger level of three in the box we've got our instruction cards um we've got enough chemicals to do three sets of the experiments um bits of paper some thermochromic um paper which shows me stuff is hot which is a really good idea and then lots of other bits that i'm sure do something into the burning apparatus we put a bit of tin foil and pop some sugar cubes here are my instructions and then try to light them crumble up two bits of paper burn them a 
and collector ash and I can see that this isn't hot because of the little thermochromic paper on the side which is very clever so pour all of that in there now I need to put two pieces of sugar on there like that with my third piece of sugar I need to rub it all over the ash on every side Balance that on top and move that out of the way. Set it on fire again. So I've done all the experiments that they sent me and I'm actually impressed with this kit. Um, it's not like your normal chemistry kit where everything's like safe and sanitised. There are like, you know, actual danger. You saw the, the fire going everywhere. Um, and they give you a lot of stuff in there. It's not like just like you do it once and then that's it. You can do each experiment like three or four times. It's, it's good stuff in there. Um, for the, the first one that I did, the tin chemistry, they just gave you one pair of gloves each. So if you're doing it in pairs, like one pair of gloves each. Um, which seemed a little bit silly to me because if they give you enough chemicals to do like four experiments, then only one pair of gloves, you have to do them all at once. And I mean, wearing gloves for a long period of time isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. What you want to do is take them off, put a fresh pair of gloves on. You also can't touch your phone with your, like, the camera on your phone with gloves on because they're covered in chemicals. So, just, just, my science, if you want to improve a little bit, just in your starter kit, put some boxes of gloves. Boxes of gloves are not expensive. Um, the chemicals are the expensive bit. Um, but yeah, the experiments worked really, really well. Um, I know some of them, like the, the sugar shake you can try and do on your own with stuff you can find in the kitchen. But getting the ratio of everything sorted out, making sure you do everything safely, which is really, really important. Um, it's going to take you absolutely ages. <laughs> Trust me. Um, it's going to take you actually ages to sort out the right ratio of baking powder to um, sugar. Whereas this is all kind of like... You, you don't have to sort anything out. It's all really, really easy to do um, because it's all in bottles. The instructions are really, really easy to follow. And everything worked, which you will know from school, especially in physics, not everything always works. But these all worked. So, yeah, I liked it. I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, they were fun to make. I hope you enjoyed watching them. <laughs>